Number 21 then from the 2013 Higher Maths Paper 1. Just a short question for three marks. Complete the square. Express this in this form. And I'm just assuming here that we don't have to go on afterwards because it's only three marks and say A equals B equals C equals. But I'd be tempted to do that just in case. Now, there's a variety of ways you may do that. I'm just going to put it down the one way so I'm going to the rest of the questions. What I would normally do with this is say it's easy to form a square if it's just monic, if it was just a single x squared. So I'll take that 2 out of it, leaving that as x squared. Whether or not that 2 is a common factor, take the 2 out, so everything else has to be divided by 2. That'll be a 6x, but there's no point including that 1, because that 1 was bogus. It didn't form a square. I want to know what completes the square, what would go in here. So, now that I've got this part, I can form the square, because... I know the pattern for a square is square the first, square the last, and twice the product. I'll need two out of the five bits to finish off that pattern. If that's x squared, that must have been x. And if that's x, then the two of these together must give half of this, so it must be half of that's three. Square the last, that must be a plus nine. I've put a nine in where there was no nine. I've put two of them in, in fact. So that's 18 going in, so I'll have to take 18 off. So minus 17. That would be the solution to that. I would say, but maybe, just for safety, I might put a wee note at the side. I might put a wee note saying, A is 2, B is 3, C is negative 17. But that might just be me being a wee bit too cautious or apprehensive of them in their marking.